Yeah, look at that. I already took that guy out. Now, it does use up power quite a bit. Oh my gosh. What is that right there? I decided to go a little crazy with my build. So yeah, we're definitely going faster. And my, my dude is a little more level. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to Terra Tech Worlds. And today we have a few tasks we need to take care of. The one is we need to build a lightning rod because my base keeps getting zapped by lightning now that it's a little on the bigger side. And so I need to make two lightning rods, one for my power plant and one for my main base. And then I would also like to try to make the wind generator, but we need some more neobium, whatever that stuff's called. And that's gonna be in the forest area. So we ended up going there in the last episode and discovering quite a few new areas and new things and new materials and stuff like that. So I think we need to head back over there and get a few more resources because we just, we just don't have enough. If we look over here, I only have, so we got this right here, which is the phosphorus. And then we have the tantalum. <laughs> I don't know how you say that. Tantalum. And then we have the, I think I already refined it. So right here. So this little block right there is, no, that's the tantalum. Where's the other stuff? So we have the phosphorus. Where the heck did I do with it? Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. So it's the goldy looking stuff. So that right there is the Neobium, I guess. That's how you say it. And so both of these are uncommon. They're in the swamplands and we ventured over there in the last episode and quite interesting. So I think this time around, we're going to look for some more resources to build those lightning rods first, because I believe those don't take too many resources. I think I need some of the lithium. Let's look here. So yeah, right there, I just need some more refined lithium. Uh, it requires 12 and some sodium. I think I have enough sodium, but I don't think I have enough lithium to make two. So I have enough to make one, but we just need a little bit more. And we're going to get that from the electric trees. And now that I have these new guns that we got in the last episode that do not take a, uh, a lot of, or don't take any ammunition, actually. They're just, they just draw from the power. Uh, these And they shoot really far too, which is nice. We're going to use these to go take out some trees and some lightning trees, I mean, and do that. But first, let me show you guys a few base upgrades. So one of the things I did is let's go over here. Oh, also the the game, as far as Tech Worlds themselves, they came out with a huge update today, which is the 27th of March. And it looks like they've added more resources in the normal forest area. So, oh, so we can already see that we have some of this right here for the uh, silicon, which is normally in the blue forest area over here. And it looks like they've added some other resources in the blue forest and in this area as well. So we have a few more options for resources that we can mine here. That's nice. So let's do this. And so that look, it's this. These things are pretty chill. And it looks like they made a few modifications to the laser energy consumption on a lot of things. So that's nice. Damn. All right, we'll just grab all your stuff. So it seems like we our laser lasts a little bit longer. I think from I think they went knocked it down about thirty per, or you know thirty percent less usage or something like that. And they also gave a little bit more output on some of the resources and just made things a little bit more refined as far as quality of life stuff and more and easier resource mining. And also I think the machines or the enemies, little rovers, uh, drop a little bit more items as well. So let's go find a tree. Oh, no, no, that's what am I doing? I was gonna show you guys something first as I was talking about the updates. So one of the things I did with my base is I added an extra silo over here. So that silo, we can actually add some resources to it. Like I have all this, you know, stuff here and with some gold and I can just chunk all of this in there. And then what it does is I'm using these pipes now. So if you can see, I have the, the little transfer pipes coming from that silo running to these two refineries. And then from the refineries goes into this other smaller silo, which will have refined components. So if we go into here, 
and and we look we can kind of get an idea of what we might have in that other silo i don't think yeah so we have carbon so if i go right here and i switch this over to carbon like that then this should start are we out of power no we have power so that should start drawing carbon out of there i thought maybe not maybe Oh, okay, so it's whatever is immediate, so we might have to figure out how to sort what we put in here. Um, so as you see, we put carbon in there, and now we're getting carbon out. And so carbon is flying through that thing, and then it's coming into here, turning into the refined carbon. And it doesn't really show that it's going into the output, but if we look over here, we can see that it's being outputted to that area. So that's nice. And we did a few other things. Oh wow, look at all this stuff we got. Over here, we went, or I went and uh, reconfigured my whole power situation. Someone in the comments gave me a really great tip that refined carbon it gives about 33% more energy efficiency or output or something like that. So what I did is I made this whole little system here and it's times three basically but basically I hit add carbon right here and then it goes into here and gets turned into refined carbon and then it goes out and it goes into this little silo and then from the silo it ends up going into these uh, generators over here which have 25 already in it and then this one has eight and then it just refills those two power output systems and then I have a little battery backup thing right here reserve power cell that's at 100 percent so that's got some stored power just for like emergency stuff and and so that's kind of like what we have going on so we just basically have two of these and then one medium-sized silo that is taking an input and two outputs of materials and those output materials are going to these power units here these generators and and so that works really good so if i go over here just give you guys a idea we can suck some of this out and put our excess carbon over here what we need is a big master switch to turn off all the power that would be nice so i'll put this in here and as you can see it starts going from the silo you can see that counting down which means it's taking it out and then what it's doing is it's filling it up right here and then this is set to convert it into refined carbon, which will do as soon as it hits 30. So as soon as this gets up to 30, this will kick on and start outputting over here. So we'll watch it do that real quick. I don't know why it's idle. Oh, there it goes, that's weird. So maybe I just needed to click on and click off of it. So now that is being output to there and you can see it pop in and then it goes into this little silo here, which it doesn't really show. So, you know, I guess if I had a ton of carbon, maybe we could get to stack up. But right now, it immediately goes into this area here. So that's already got 30 in it. And this one is getting some now. See, that's going up to 11 now. And so it's slowly adding more to there. So good. So now my power system lasts a lot longer. And of course, now we have a lightning storm coming in. So I'm probably going to get zapped. My base is going to get zapped. And actually, you know, since I have enough materials to make one lightning rod, why don't we try to save one of my bases here? And what do we need for that lightning rod? We need the sodium and refined lithium. What was the other thing? Let's see, refined lithium and copper. Okay, so we'll go over here, get the copper and get the lithium. And then let's build one of these. There we go, nice. All right, so now we can build one of these lightning rods and let's just put it i guess maybe like over here in the middle by our thing so that should make lightning strikes for us and also another big update that they did which this is kind of huge actually these storage containers like when i go here to the tech yard we were only getting a, a hundred spots out of our storage container and they expanded it to like 200 i think so now i went from having like 350 maybe they made it to 250 or 300 i don't know so let's see wait one two three four five so that's five so that's 
if they doubled it, that gives us a thousand right there. Oh, and then this itself is two hundred. So yeah, so that's that's right. So we have the twelve hundred now in storage, and only three hundred and forty being used. So that is great, because now I can actually take some of these other components over here, and and feed these. Oops, not that. And we can put these in our in our thing. So that would be nice. Let's put this over there. Then we can clear up this silo. Oh, what is that? What the heck is that? I just saw something. What is that? Oh, it's a power pylon. Okay, I thought that was a lightning rod. I was like, what the heck? So let's grab this thing, put that there. And then this is like ammo for, what kind of ammo is that? Oh no, that's fuel. So that's fuel for a power reserve deal. So let's go here. And we're gonna put all of this in our tech thing now. Our tech storage. Can't put those in there, can I? All right. Now, and also, all the resources respawned. So now all the trees came back, and there was a couple of issues. I had trees going through my base, and uh, some issues with some. I had some blocks explode because there was rocks underneath that, just like this one. See, there's a rock underneath my base right here. So let's see if we can get rid of this thing. I'm afraid it's going to cause an issue. See how long the laser lasts now? Like it lasts a long time. So now that is a rock. I don't know if it's going to give us the resources. Yeah. Okay, so let's go take out an electric tree, and I'm assuming that the little electric trees came back too. So let's go adventure over here. Also, another thing I want to do is once we get back with some of that neobium stuff or whatever, I would like to also rebuild my rover, and I think I want him going this way. I, I think I like this direction better than than the other direction. I think it just drives better this way. So we'll try that. Ooh, look at this over here. So this is nice. They now have materials, a lot more materials now. And I have this new gun, man. It just makes quick work of these guys. Look at that. It's amazing. And I got these guns over in the, um, in the swamp biome. I'm going to res get some materials here. And we need a lot more aluminum too than I realized. So it seems like they have aluminum spread out through more areas too as well. Look at that, it took all that out in one go. That's nice. All right, so we're gonna go take out these dudes. Wow, there's a bunch. Let's see if our new weapons can help us over here. Yeah, look at that. I already took that guy out. Now, it does use up power quite a bit. There we go. Keep our power levels a little. Oh. Look at that, man. We're really taking them out. Let's get this guy, get our power back up. Damn. Holy cow. I love this gun. We kind of have to make ourselves, we need to make sure we have enough armor to kind of sit there because it's not the fastest weapon, but it does, it does a lot of damage. So here are some more of those big wheels. I don't like these wheels. We're going to get rid of these. Make sure we get those. Oh, what is that? Get rid of this laser too. Nope, not that wheel. Let's get this wheel. Now we have these armor plates right here. And we find room for these. All right, I don't need these. I need that. And then I'll show you guys a little trick with these things here. So if we can move all this over. And I've already filled up my resources. We might have to see about sticking a thing on. So if we use this laser, 
and break these things down into resources. Well, that makes it easier to store up the components and everything. All right, so let's take out this tree. And I think if we come up here, see, we can just sit here and just take this tree out and not have to worry about ammo. takes about three rounds. There we go. There's our three rounds. Then we can mine all this stuff up right here. Wow, we, we're getting a lot of resources. So let's see. I don't need these lightning rods. I got a ton of those. Look at all that. What are this coming? Oh, there's some rock there. So it looks like we're getting possibly some chlorine. Yeah, wait. Yeah, chlorine. And we're getting some lithium. We need more. Let's take out this thing right here. Then we have another tree. There's some bad guys right here. Oop. See if we can take this guy out real quick. Alright, we zapped up all of these things. And, man, I'm so overloaded with stuff right now. There's definitely a lot more resources now with this update, so that's good. That was definitely a struggle. Oh my gosh! What is that right there? So, it's like you get so much stuff it falls on your vehicle and you blow up? That's crazy. That's, that's happened to me a couple of times now, and it's really crazy. So let's respawn. Go back and get our stuff. All right, so we're back here. Gotta get our, oh my gosh. Gotta get our stuff, the trees in the way. Take all. So let's get the heck out of here, get back to our base. Now that we have the lithium we need. All right, cool. So we are here now, and now I can Put all the lithium in here. Oh no, put the carbon in there. And more lithium. Let's see, unless we need the aluminum probably. I just do the iron too. And just chunk everything in there. For now. Okay, so now I should be able to switch that over to lithium, right? There it goes. So it's loading up on lithium. And I can just recycle the carbon back into there. And then this one, can we do the aluminum? Oh no, that's, that's weird. That's doing lithium as well. I selected aluminum, but it's doing lithium. I guess it's whatever's in the first spot. Like whatever's like right here. So that's interesting. Wonder if there's a way, maybe they'll come out with an update where if you have all the materials in the silo, it will automatically filter out which ones need to go in based on what you select right here. That'd be really a great thing to do because I don't want to have to keep coming back and putting it into the first slot, you know, and I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. So it because it seems like once it's in the first slot, like if it's already there, it will process the rest of the aluminum in the container. So it seems like it kind of works. So if we go here, is that... Is that not doing it? We got three lithium out of there. So, there we go, that's processing. Okay, now that's processing. I don't know why I have to click on that, that's strange. So once that processes, let's see what it does with the aluminum. Put that in there, and then I have aluminum in the first slot here. And if I go over here and I select, you see it's checked already. And it's already loading it in. I didn't even do anything. So it's just kind of like whatever's in the first slot. So maybe that's how we do this. I, I don't know. And then now I click it and it starts to go. 
So that had 18 in the first. So now let's see if it drags over the rest of the aluminum. Doesn't look like it. Maybe I need to put them into the adjoining slot like that. Let's see if we can figure this out. Oh no, I don't want to. That's weird. So now it's pulling. It did. It did pull that one, but. Okay, there's the aluminum. So it is pulling in more aluminum. I don't know. It's kind of strange. Let's grab that. Make sure that's processing. And let's go ahead and grab that one. So we have 17 on the lithium over here. So I believe it was 17. The copper. We need the copper. Right there. Let's see. Oh, and then the sodium. So we should be able to make the other lightning rod, right? What does it need? It needs nine sodium. I have enough lithium. There it goes. So we can do one more lightning rod. Nice. There we go. Oh my gosh. I don't have enough space for all this. Let's put some of this components up in our storage thing. I'll we'll have to go clean out our storage too pretty soon. Need to put my third storage thing in a better place. Okay, so now we have our lightning rod. We can take all that back. Put our refined components into here. Wait, oh. Alright, let's go mount our lightning rod over here so that we can protect our little base. We'll just put it, which we're right in time for it too. So there's the lightning rod. So hopefully, I don't know what amount of area that covers. I guess we'll find out. All right. So now I think before we head over to the the uh, swamp area, I'd like to reconfigure my vehicle. So let's see what we can do here. We can get a little closer here and take a little screenshot. That guy. We're missing some parts on it for a reason. But I'm thinking about adding the bigger cab to it. I don't know if that's going to mess things up. So we pull that thing off. And I kind of wanted to go the other direction. I like the setup that we have. But I'm wondering if we can reconfigure some of the stuff here. So let's see. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Put that back. Oof. Got to be careful when you yank that thing off. It does some weird stuff. All right. Okay, so I have been experimenting around with the vehicle design stuff and I decided to go a little crazy with my build and so it took a little while, but I now have a new vehicle and you guys may be thinking that this is the front and it's actually the back. So this is the front and it's quite the armor plated, you know, beefy creature. I don't even know exactly what to call this, but I have my cannons up here. These are my new favorite little Aurora gun electric cannon things. I don't know. They don't take ammo, which I really like. And then I have two mining lasers and they are all on top of these little weapon modifiers so that they get a little extra boost out of these. And then also I noticed that anything that's mounted to the cab gets a little bit of boost too. So I have two more of these boosters mounted to the cab over here onto these guns. And I'm not sure if that carries over and adds, you know, more modifiers to the weapon or not, but Oh, it does actually, look at this. Okay, so that weapon is more, has one more thing. So this one has turbo and nanobot repair. And this one, oh no, that's the cab. Wait a second, yeah, yeah, okay. So that is, no, wait a second. I don't, I don't really, actually, yeah, no, that's the, so it does have the superconductor mod. And whereas this one doesn't, and this one has a superconductor mod, and so does this one. Uh, because I guess it's connected to the cab. You can see how it's indirectly connected through with this block, I guess. And I don't know why that one doesn't. So I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what that means exactly. But anyway, so we now have this going the other direction. So before my vehicle 
was this was the front and I had my small tires in the front and now I have the big tires in the front and I put this big old armor shield here and I now have shielding all the way around or armor plating at least and I hope that's going to help it out and I've added four medium size cargo bays and then I also have two like actually do how many do I have I have let's see three extra battery banks as well and I also have this thing right here which is a small booster and so this is going to allow us I think to cross the water I'm not really sure if I press it it doesn't really do much so I, I guess it helps with the speed a little bit but I'm hoping it helps me with the water I don't have a lot of fuel for this so we're going to test it out when we go over to the little swamp area but, but yeah this is the the new paint job and new oops new layout for the vehicle and we're gonna go test it out in the swamp area now i think i have my inventory pretty much clear just that i'll have another battery in there let's go throw these supplies into the storage and now let's go head out and see what we can do to find a more neodymium <laughs> I'm not sure what that stuff is, but I need it for the for the wind generator or solar generator, one of those. So we're going to head off this way and go north. No, no, we're going west. That's right, we're going west. So west is where the swamp area is. So let's go check that out. And we'll go take out some bad guys on the way. Let's see how this new weapon does. Damn, look at that. It just obliterates. Hey, yeah, yo, dude, stop shooting me. The one thing I have to be a little bit further back with this guns with, with the guns mounted up on top as high as they are at the moment. So they don't really aim down very much. So you can kind of see how they, the lasers cross. I don't know, but we can also see that my vehicle going this way is is much faster now. I mean, it's, it's a lot faster with the big tires going forward. So I don't know why that is. The chassis is backwards, but it just seems to work that work better. And then here's our rock. We can mine this like super fast now. And ever since the update, we actually, our lasers work pretty good. I'm going to go over here. And let's take out this guy. Oh, nice. So that guy. Let's get to the front here. Let's see if we can. Oh, wow, look at that, dude. These guys are pretty tough with this crazy weapon on the top. And take him out. Damn. All right. Did some damage to us there. I'm not sure which did the most damage. I think it was. Oh, oh, ow, 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 ow. I think it was the plant. So we're gonna need to repair. I was hoping not to repair. All right, guys. So I am now here at the edge of the water, and so now we get to test out the rocket booster. I had to fight like a million little enemies to get over here. The little rovers are definitely like evolving or something, They're getting crazy. So this is like as fast as I can go in the water. So this is, so it kind of takes a long time to get going. So let's hit the booster and see how much faster we go. Oh, okay. We are like pointed down. Oh, we're definitely going a lot faster. Look at that. So I wonder if I put the booster more at the back. Let me see, can I can I move let's zoom in a little bit. Let's take the booster. Let's just put it like oop. Uh, yeah, maybe. No, let's just stick it right there. Does that make a difference? Oh no, that doesn't that's pushing us even further down. Let's see, how about like no, that's gonna push us down more. I wonder if we can put it like right on the back. Let's see, can we put it further down like that? Or maybe we can, ooh, I wonder if we can turn it. Let's rotate it. Not that way, there we go. We rotate it like that. Does that do anything? Well, let's get out of here and see. That keeps us, well, no, we're still being pushed down, but I feel like it's going a little faster, actually. Being like under the water like that. So yeah, we're definitely going faster. And my, my dude is a little more level. So I wonder if having it positioned downwards 
would help. So let's get here. So yeah, we got across, man, like last time it took me like 15 minutes to get across this. So let's zoom in, let's pick up the booster and we'll just hide it back in this area somehow. Oh, it's kind of hard to do this when it's moving. Yeah, all right, so we'll just put it there and then we'll just use this to, yeah, there we go. So we use, we're at 61 fuel, whatever that means. I need to watch out for those little crazy, yeah, here they are, these things, man. So this can get us up the mountain really nicely. Look at that. Bam. Okay. Oh, yeah, so everything respawned. Oh, I forgot about those things. Holy cow. Let me just take that thing out real quick. Okay. Oh, man, I totally forgot that since the update, all these plants now respawned. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh, that thing shoots five now. It only shot three before. So let's see if we can heal up for a second. Yeah, we have to re-explore this place because the last time I was over here was prior to the update. And now they changed a lot of the, the resources and the, I guess, plants behavior. Are you, are you healed up enough? Let's, there we go. All right. So now we still have to watch out for the deadly plants. Now we have tons of aluminum. Oh, look at that. So we still have this like, interesting vein that explodes. Wow, that's a lot of resources right there. Vehicle still, still healing up a little bit. We have tons of this right here. Oh, the lasers are going cross-eyed. Man, the lasers are doing great now. Having everything boosted. We just need the sun to come up. Okay. But I think with these, they took, like this used to drop the silicon, and now I think they only just drop rocks down. So yeah, it's just rocks. Okay, so we need to go down here. Hopefully we can get some more of the Neo whatever stuff. I'm just gonna call it the Neo stuff. I need to look for, okay, there's one of those plants. Let's head down this way and try not to crash into anything. Holy cow, it's a very steep drop off. All right, and then we learned from the last episode that this is poison or corrosive liquid here. So let's, I'm already getting corroded. Dang it, get out of there. Oh, it's still getting corroded. I'm just trying to get up on the hill over here so I can shoot that thing. We're still getting corroded. Okay, dang it. Maybe we'll go over here. Oh, 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 I forgot about these. Those are some explosive mines. Let's see. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we take out the plant here. Love how far these things shoot. Look at that. Am I getting it? Okay, maybe it doesn't shoot that far. goop stuff. Okay, get out of the stuff. We're just gonna go. There we go. Well, I guess I was getting... Alright, we're gonna stay out of that mess. And I'm corroding. Oh. Take out this guy. I lost my shield on the front. Oh my gosh. What did he hit me with? Whoa. Have some crazy... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No! Dang it. What the heck has he got? I need one of those. Oh, I do have one of those. Dude. Okay. Well, I'll be right back in that space in a jippy. Now you guys don't have to worry about it because it's only going to take me a second to get over there. But I want to get some more rocket fuel. And here we go. All right, guys. So I am back. And getting all my stuff. I think I'm going to put down a base over somewhere. Where's that guy at, man? 
I saw him buzzing around over here somewhere. Uh, is that him? Okay, we're gonna go over here. And I think I put down... Let's see, I think I brought a base thing with me. Yeah, right here. Can I put that right there? Does that... Can I use that? Oh, okay, so if I claim it... Ooh, look at that. Does that repair us? Okay. So, is this where I'm going to spawn from now on? I'm kind of trying to... One of you guys in the comment section said to do this, so... I'm trying it out, because if I die over here, then hopefully I'll spawn right in this location. But, we will see. But at least I can make it here and get my repair points back. So let's go get more of these resources over here. Let's take out some of these guys though. How are they surviving in that mess? That guy's tough. Space in the inventory. Now, is this inventory? Can I put stuff in here? Is my storage? Oh, it's still, it's only at 200. Ooh, so I wonder if I'm going to have to make it all the way back to my other base. Like, are we going to have to disassemble this? Hmm. Alright, well, let's go ahead and put all this stuff in here. If we see anything new, we'll, we'll look at it here. Okay. Can't put any of those in there. Now what is this piece? That looks like a bumper thing. Oh, get out of that stuff. Okay. Gonna have to watch out for these bouncy plants. These guys right there. goop on us now. Take out these guys right here. Don't mess with them. There we go. We have some bombs right there. This laser does not go very far. And then that plant we have to take out. That creates some kind of gaseous cloud that corrodes us. things then are we getting any of those resources that we need let's take a look here so that is not it we have the phosphorus stuff we're looking for the neodymium stuff or whatever it's called oh, what is that oh a medium booster Ooh, that looks cool that's got two rockets on it oh that looks nice too i don't think i have one of these and then, oh, we have more stuff in our thing over here. What the heck is that? A shield projector? Okay. 
That takes eight on the resources. We're definitely keeping that. Okay, let's see if we can repair and get our shield back. Oh, it didn't come back. Why did it not come back? Maybe we don't have enough inventory space for it. All right, let's take some of this stuff off. There's the booster. That's a shield thing, armor shield. Oh, that looks cool. A dual weapon mount. Oh, that looks nice. Um, we're gonna put that in our main cargo thing. Oh, that's not our main, that's our secondary. Okay, so let's go this way. Ooh, I like these little shield components, but they are expensive to use. Let's put all this in here. And we have our booster. And then we, I like that thing. So we're gonna try to keep all this stuff. And let's go to the page two. There we go. So what happened to my shield? Maybe, maybe we can put this thing on instead. I'm not sure which direction this goes. Okay, it looks like it goes this way. And then rotate. Nope. Nope. There we go. Okay. So it goes like that. I can dig that. That looks nice. And we're right, we're one point away from our reactor capacity. All right, so we still, have we found any of the minerals we're looking for? We haven't. They're over here in this red goop stuff, so. We're gonna have to go. Oh, no, back up. Oh, back. oh that was close. Wow. I don't know what we use phosphorus for either. I haven't seen where we use that. All these things. Oh, me nuts. Okay, took out those guys, and now we need to mine this stuff right here. Can we reach it? Yeah, we can. Good. So there's the neobium. Oh, I can't reach it. And we probably have to get a bit corroded in order to get all this stuff. And it looks like the design of the neo or whatever it is, the tin, whatever that stuff is. Can't really say those words for some reason. Okay, get all that out. Okay, yeah, we're at 14 on the corrosion level here. So uh, here we go. Let's just drive all out of here. Okay. Yeah, that really gets us. So what do we get? We got one. No, are you kidding me? What about on the others? No, none over there. How do we just? How does we just get one of those? Is that right? Now we're getting a lot of this other stuff, but man, that other material is so hard to get. Oh. Unless it's in a different kind of plant, maybe there's a better way to to get it or something. I don't know. Oh, that's some corroded stuff too. Get out of there. Let's go over here. All right, guys. So I have collected a ton of resources and filled up all four of my containers. So we have a ton. I only have 17 of these neobiums and. Niobiums, maybe? I don't know. Niobiums? I think that's probably how you say it. And I don't have any extra space. I mean, I could throw away some of this other stuff, but there's a lot of good material that I can use back in my other base. And I want to take it over there. And so right now I'm going to swap out some wheels and tires and things for armor plating and head back to our main base. And we'll uh, deactivate this one. Or I'm not really sure what happens to this, if I'll leave it here or what, but... We're gonna get over there and I'll see you guys back at the base here in a second. All right, guys, we are back at the main base. We got somebody attacking us for some reason. What you doing there? Not you, man. There we go, take care of you. And I think our little thing held up pretty nice. Got a nice little shield thing in the front. So now we need to park this here, and I think, don't I need to, do I need to claim this base? Like once I repair here, 
is that, is this now where I respawn or do I need to reclaim it? I don't know. It doesn't seem like I need to. It seems like it's already claimed. So that's good. Okay. Good deal. So now we need to put all of our stuff in here. All of our new stuff. We got a new chassis. Got a crazy gun thing. Some shield generator things. New mounts. New new bumper. Quite a few new things. Used up quite a bit of fuel and got a lot of ammo. I started with zero ammo and now I have like a lot. So 800, 847. Okay. So let's go put all the uh, resources up over here and then see about what we're going to need to break down the Neo whatever stuff up there. Let's put all this in here. What the heck? Let's take the Neo Biome, put it there. Yeah, that filled up with tons of carbon. Look at all that. And then we'll put this to the it's gold. That's Stronium Neobion. There we go. Take that out. There it goes. So let's see if that does anything. Then we'll just recycle that back into the pile there. And I think it's right here. So we have two. Nine. Man, I don't know if we're going to make it. Just don't know if we have enough. After all that time. I mean, I've literally... You guys, for you, to you guys, it's like a, like a couple of minutes, but... I've been on here for like three hours looking for this stuff. So let's see, we need aluminum, and carbon, and copper. There it goes. So four, I need nine. I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't think we are. I think we're gonna be one short. It's just gonna suck. And I don't have any other pieces, I don't think. Let's look over here such a struggle just to make one little thing like that's such a rare resource not sure what we're going to do with that little things here that we can build with let's see oh three seven i really don't think we have enough nope we don't we're too short too short man it sucks okay seven eight nine yep all right, well, I guess it's going to be the next episode by the time I actually get to make that crazy thing. So I'm going to put that there. Let's put these two at the end. Man, what a bummer. That's really just not happy about that. So much time and effort. Okay, let's put the aluminum in. And... Turn this to make aluminum. Get that out of there. All right, hopefully I'll make some aluminum here in a second. And then what do we need for this? We need 12 of those, some refined carbon and some lithium rock. I think I have a bunch of that. Oh, I don't have as much as I thought I did. How much lithium rock do we need? 30. Let's look over here. I don't think I have any in there either. Might have some over here. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna go grab some lithium real quick. Alright, let's see what these guns do to this tree here. Mr. Lightning Tree. Oh, there we go. Man. Really good to work. All right, I think we got the lithium now, so we can load this in. There we go. All right. So I'm running out of electric trees to, to blow up now. So we should be able to launch that here pretty soon. Almost there, 92, 94. Almost there. Launch. There we go. Cool. All right, so we got a launch, and what do we get for a little reward? Let's look here. So we got just 50 reward bucks. And now the next thing is make active, and we have to put in 
25 refined lithium. So I don't think we have that. I mean, I might as well check real quick. I have 12 and I put pretty much all of it in. So I'll have to go look for lithium again. Good grief. So, all right. Well, cool. Well, I think I'm going to end this particular episode here. And then I think in the next episode, I will probably already have gotten all the materials we need for the uh, wind turbine. And then I'll save that, placing it, and see if we can use that to power some things up. So I want to make some more batteries, like right here. I want to make some more of these little reserve power cells. And that way the wind turbine can store this up when my base is like shut down or run out of carbon or something like that then that wind hopefully hopefully that's how that works the wind turbine can charge that and we can run off of those things or something for a little bit but anyway yeah so i think we did some good exploring in the swamp area and survived with our new vehicle so this little guy he's doing pretty good and i got a new little shield on the front and i got a, i picked up i think two or three more of these so We'll probably add a few more and maybe, or just one more in the back. Maybe they do take a lot of energy, you know, power to run. And then we have a new booster, which you can see right there. So it's a, you know, medium sized booster. And that really helps to get across the water. And then I have some other shield pieces that we can add on too. So now I just need to figure out how to upgrade our weapons. And I need to build some other stuff and get the, ref the other refined materials. Like we need to figure out like, what do we need for, where is it that I'm looking for? Is it this thing? Yeah, like how do we get purified materials? If any of you guys know how to do that, steer me in the right direction so I can get purified. I feel like we need some other type of upgrade to our refinery or something. I don't know. I thought we picked up one from a from an enemy that we destroyed, but I do not see it anywhere. So I don't know, we'll have to figure that out. But with that, I appreciate you guys watching and giving me the feedbacks and the comments and stuff. They've been a great help. And make sure you guys like and subscribe on the content and or on the videos <laughs> if you like the content. And I'll do some more episodes on this coming up and see if we can figure out how to get to the higher level stuff. But anyway, with that, I appreciate you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.